It's been a year since we've looked at the Steam Deck emulation and it has changed dramatically. Before we dive in, the winner of the Anne Burnick RG35XX Plus is in the comment down below. If you'd like to win another handheld in an upcoming video, make sure you're subscribed because we do these giveaways almost every video. So with the success of the Steam Deck, everything has actually been blowing up over the last two years. This thing has been out. Emu Deck has gotten a complete facelift and an entirely new way of porting up your ROMs and a super easy dashboard to use everything on. In addition to a lot of people and the community helping out to get all of the emulator backends figured out. And this gets all the people who bought Steam decks up and running their old consoles. So let's take a look at some of the devices that the Steam Deck emulates very, very well. Starting off with the 8 and 16-bit consoles, all of these devices play very well. But here's some Game Boy Advance uh, if you ever wanted to see a Game Boy screen this large in the palm of your hand with OLED goodness. Now we'll move on to the next generation of gaming, which would be the PS2 and GameCube eras, where the PlayStation 2 runs fantastic, in addition to the GameCube running fantastic here. This handheld is pretty overpowered for these things, so you'll actually be able to upscale some of these. Moving on to some more 3D intensive consoles, we have the Nintendo 3DS, in addition to the PS3. The 3DS will play just fine on here. Depending on your game and compatibility, you can use the trackpads or the touchscreen to make the bottom screen work and then switch between the two, and turns out pretty nicely. For the PS3, some games will play, some will not play. When I loaded up God of War, that title is just a little too intensive for the emulator cores and how this runs currently. But some of the games will play a lot easier just due to how they were designed and a little bit less graphically intensive, like Heavenly Sword here. Now on to Switch emulation, because the Switch is pretty old now, and if you have a first-gen Switch with cartridges, you can actually pull those over and play them on the Steam Deck. A lot of these games run really well, but it's not first-party hardware, so sometimes you get a little bit of maybe audio desync or some crackling, but the gameplay overall is pretty dang cool. So the Steam Deck pretty much plays all the way up to the PS3. Past that, you're getting into territory of, well, the PS4, the PS5, all that kind of stuff is still out. And the Switch is still out, but maybe you have an original Switch with a bunch of cartridges that you need to just pull over to the Steam Deck because, well, that's the newer device now. So this does do Switch emulation, and it runs great. With all these emulators running so well, let's take a look at the back end that gets everything ready to be played like you just saw. That's done with a software called EmuDeck, and if you're looking for a guide, Retro Game Core and EmuDeck, at least it's on their website, did one already. Rust did a fantastic job, go watch that. I can't do any better. So this is EmuDeck. This is a port of emulation station meant specifically for handheld gaming computers. So the Steam Deck, it also has an option for the ROG Ally, and this is basically a front end for all of the different emulator software that you can load all of your games into. So everything from Game Boy to PS3 runs through this front end, and I personally like having it as one item in my Steam library, so I can click on that and decide what ROM I want to play based on this nice overlay where you can see all the systems. So what doesn't the Steam Deck emulate? Well, anything up to the new generation of consoles is basically where you want to stop with emulation. Around the PS3 era is kind of where I call it quits, because... A lot of these games are still available to play on game streaming and game passes and stuff like that, so I don't feel the need to have any of those games on there. But if you're looking for a ROM limit, PS3 is kind of where it's at. Everything else and below plays just fine. In my opinion, the Steam Deck has only gotten better over the last year, and I think it will continue on that trend. So many more people are picking these up because of the different sales and different options that they have available making this a very compelling reason to pick it up just for emulation. Not to mention that you have an entire Steam library in the background if you've ever been suckered into a sale. And we all know you have been. Don't look at me. We know it's you. If you'd like to see more about this device or another version of the Steam Deck, check out one of these videos because we've emulated so many different things over the years. Might as well watch a video or two about it. They're free. We're giving them away. Games ain't free. 
I don't smell the truth. I see it. I'm losing my mind. I've recorded like three videos at this point. Watch one of these. Bye.